Let's begin with a recap of where the Bahamas is positioned right now as far as its tourism is concerned. Well, the Bahamas is the most visited destination in the Caribbean. Uh, 6.3 million visitors come to the Bahamas each year. Uh, 4.7 million of them are by cruise ship. Between one, about 1.5 million come uh, by air. Um, and so we are a very robust destination. Uh, we have lots of offerings. We have 16 destinations within the Bahamas. It's very important that visitors to the Bahamas not think of the Bahamas as a single destination, Nassau or Grand Bahama. We have 16 uh, destinations that we market and a country of 700 islands. So we feel that when you come to the Bahamas, we've got whatever product you need, we have, and there's really no, really re no real reason for you to go anywhere else but to the Bahamas. So, so it's, you, you, you mentioned an interesting point here, the visitors don't see it as simply Nassau or Paradise Island, yes. where a lot happens right now, doesn't it? Well, those are what we call the destinations for the mega resorts. So you've got the Atlantis, you've got a new product called Bahama coming on stream with 2,300 rooms, a 100,000 square foot casino, the largest uh, in the Caribbean, lots of conference and convention space. But if you want that boutique, that idyllic, quiet, somewhat adventurous holiday, then we've got our family of islands. We've got Eleuthera, we've got Abaco, we've got Exuma, which has become world famous because of the swimming pigs. Um, we've got Cat Island, Long Island. We've got many, many destinations. We have the third greatest, the third largest barrier reef in the world. We've got blue holes. So if you want to sort of go off the beaten path, away from the large conventions, the large mega resorts, and you want to find that boutique experience. The Bahamas has that, and you get on Bahamas here and go off onto our islands and kind of get on your flip-flops, put on your shorts, your singlet, and uh, you're, you're, you're anonymous, and it's wonderful. We're learning what, about 100,000 square miles of water around? So the Bahamas, some statistics, we're 700 islands, we're 100,000 square miles, we're the, the, the country with the most airports per capita in the world. Uh, we have the most beautiful water in the world. Um, I forget which astronaut it was who was up in space and when he looked back, he could see the islands of Exuma and he said that is the most beautiful place on the planet. So, and it's very close to the United States. It's half an hour, 45 minutes from Miami or Fort Lauderdale. It's on the same time zone, Eastern Standard Time. It's, it's just a wonderful destination with lots of options depending on what it is that you're looking for. You've mentioned the United States and its proximity to the U.S., which means that a vast majority of your visitors do come from the U.S., don't they? How do you improve on, in, on the numbers from the U.K., for example, where you now are? So you're absolutely right. 76% of our visitors come from the United States primarily due to the proximity to the major population centers of the U.S. in the Northeast, New York, uh, uh, Boston, Washington, and of course Miami and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. But we're very, very interested and, 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 and quite anxious to get additional lift and, and additional visitors coming in from, from Europe. Obviously it's a function of lift, getting additional aircraft to bring persons in because people want convenience, they want non-stop directs. So we're here um, trying to improve uh, the, uh, the airlift from Europe uh, into the Bahamas. We love Europeans. They come for longer. They spend more. They're more adventurous, and so they're more likely to go to our, our offerings of family of islands. So we're very anxious to uh, uh, attract more European visitors to our country. How difficult it is, though, to attract that kind of airlift to the Bahamas? It is difficult. I mean, you're obviously, it's a very competitive market out there. Um, there is a perception that there's value in other places such as Jamaica and Barbados, and there's, there, there, are, there is that traditional tie between those countries. And then the Bahamas has this connotation of being this incredibly idyllic place, this sort of, I can only dream about going there. And we have to get the message across, yes, you can dream about it, but you can actually come to the Bahamas and you can experience it. Um, so we have to connect ourselves more to the, you know, the, the, yes, you can do it. Yes, you can. You can come to the Bahamas, it's doable. 
and, it, and you won't be disappointed when you get there, um, just because of all of our multitude of offerings. Those other destinations are a single island. We are many destinations within one country. And so that, I believe, is our fundamental selling point. And of course, don't forget the swimming pigs. They don't have it, they don't have swimming pigs. Only in the Bahamas you have swimming pigs. So you have to come and see this phenomenon, which seems to have gone viral on social media. You're a relatively new Minister of Tourism in, in the Bahamas. You would have your own ideas, certainly, of how things should go uh, in terms of policy. What are some of the, the, the the things you'd like to see done and some of the policies that you would like to implement. Okay, so we've sort of divided our tourist market into two sets of foreign visitors. So you have the cruise ship visitors. So there's 4.7 million of them. The vast majority uh, of the visitors of the Bahamas come by cruise ships. And what I want and what I feel is, is a fundamental goal of my ministry is to connect as many Bahamians to these 4.7 million visitors to get them to spend more of their, 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 their budget with the businesses that are on the ground in, our, uh, in Nassau and in Freeport where most of these cruise ship passengers go. I feel that these 4.7 million visitors come to our country and they really are not creating as impactful a result, a solution, as I would want. I want them to spend more of their money there than in other destinations. And I want Bahamian entrepreneurs. I, I, I feel that we're missing an opportunity here. Here you have all the, the Ministry of Tourism has done a wonderful job of attracting all of these foreign visitors here by cruise ship. And the Bahamian entrepreneurs are failing to take advantage of this market. They're a captured market, they're there for eight to 10 hours. Let's see what we can do to create additional experiences for them. And then another uh, important goal of my ministry is to increase the number of stopover visitors. Of course, stopover visitors have a significantly more economic impact on the country. They, they get in a taxi, they stay in a hotel, they take advantage of your retail and food and beverage options, they go to your casinos. Obviously, this is the uh, segment of your market that spends far more at your destination. And unfortunately, over the last 30 years, we have not grown the number of stopover visitors to the country. But with the arrival of Bahama, 2,300 rooms, three major brands, the Grand Hyatt, the SLS, the Rosewood, a 100,000 square foot casino, a multitude of food and beverage options, a multitude of retail options. I think we're, 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 we're poised for growth. We're primed for growth. So I'm very excited about 2018. You, you, you talked about the local entrepreneurs taking greater advantage of the presence of this um, nearly five, over four and a half million, four and three quarter million cruise visitors. What must they do to take greater advantage of their presence? So I think you've got to create interesting excursions. You've got to create interesting food and beverage options. People are looking for an experience. You know, a hotel, a beach, many Caribbean destinations have them. But when you come to a destination, I want something that's experiential, impactful. So when I leave, wow, I experienced Junkanoo in the Bahamas, which is our festival. And that was amazing. And you talk about it, and I was involved in it. You have a, a, a tour or an excursion that, that impacts you so, so enormously. You say, this is, I remember when I went to that destination, I went to the Bahamas, this is what I did. Of course, the water is amazing. And, our surveys say 87% of people come to the Bahamas for our beaches and our water. But I think they want something else. They want something else to take away because you're not going to be sitting in the water and on the beach 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's up to our entrepreneurs and it's up to the ministry to connect our entrepreneurs with our foreign visitors, to facilitate that relationship, to make sure that it's more successful, more impactful, more money flows into the hands of Bahamians. That's what we're here to do. You are hosting the CTO's State of the Tourism Industry in 2018. Yeah. Looking forward to that, are you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, SOTIC is a wonderful event. I just went to the SOTIC uh, in, in, in Grenada. And it, it's, it's a, a wonderful event where all the Caribbean uh, operators uh, uh, come together and, and strategize and brainstorm on how we can market the destination, the Caribbean. Um, because 
after all, we're all brothers and sisters. We all want more foreign visitors to come to the destination, and that is being seen. And yes, I would love all of them to come to the Bahamas, but in the spirit of being a wonderful Caribbean citizen, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside when they go to our brothers and sisters in the other Caribbean destinations. And the whole region as a role uh, uh, grows. You know, this is the destination in the world, the Caribbean, where tourism has the greatest impact on the population. So it's a very, very important industry for us. And it's very, very important that we get it right. And it's very, very important we attract as many foreign visitors as we can to the region as a whole. A number of people are already speculating, media in fact are already asking, um, where will it be hosted? Any thoughts given to that yet? I know it's a bit early. Oh, in which, in which uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah. resort? They're already planning. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're already listening. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, uh, <laughs> we're, we'll, we'll begin the shopping around in short order. And uh, as budgets uh, prevail, then uh, we'll make sure that it, but it'll, it'll be, it'll definitely be in New Providence. It'll definitely be in Nassau. It's just a question of which resort. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Minister. Okay, thank you.